I have no idea what I'm doing, and I say that every day at work. It's kind of fun when I do that too. Hey everybody! Welcome to my stream. I am Super Pack Jr. here on Twitch. And the clothes dryer saga continues. Uh, let's see, it's broken three times this week, or last week I should say. And uh, we finally got it fixed, hopefully fixed. Hopefully fixed, we even had the vent cleaned out. Bouncing heads, oh yes. New little feature there. So, how you all doing? Hey Vin, hey London Lass, how you doing? Uh, we're gonna play some Final Fantasy II as we have been. Uh, R.I.P. W who's resting in peace there, Vin? Oh. <laughs> uh, forgot, forgot to turn that down. What's that? What's that, London Lass? Oh, London Lass is doing fine. She's actually been standing. She's going through her physical therapy, and yeah, uh, we've, we, she's taking baby steps, but steps nonetheless. Washer and dryer adventures, indeed. Yeah, I, I love it when major appliances decide to, you know, not work anymore for, for a variety of reasons. Uh, we, our microwave actually went out earlier this year. We, it actually caught fire. So hey. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, we're doing some Final Fantasy 2, the fourth edition of Final Fantasy overall. And this is the Super Nintendo's debut. And, uh, well, kind of got lost. We got flying chocobos and we have an airship. But we don't know where to go, so we're going to try to figure that one out. But first, as always, we got some commercials, some commercials to run, about two minutes worth or so. And let's go ahead and hit over to the pause page because we have a slightly new mini feature if you will like if i find it there it is and the question is who created pac-man we're looking for the individual who created pac-man we'll give you the answer in the second commercial break but think about it he created a world icon treasure the very first video game character mascot so that's what we're looking for we're going to run some commercials in just a moment so don't you go away And the two minutes have begun. That's a nice, it's a nice little bit of trivia. Uh, not the hardest question in the world, certainly, but uh, that's certainly noteworthy. And, uh, you know, you hear of Yu Suzuki from Sega, Shigeru Miyamoto for a Nintendo. Well, this guy here who created Pac-Man was actually a programmer and designer, and he did a lot of the games. You forgot? <laughs> Len West says, I know, I know. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yes. He was spoofed in Pixels. Ah, uh, yes, he was. Yes, he was actually in Pixels. He was the janitor. But the gentleman in question was actually played by an actor because um, this gentleman cannot speak English, or at least enough of it proficiently to um, have a role in the movie, but he was in the movie nonetheless. So, never, nevertheless, we'll give the answer on the second commercial break, which will be in the second hour. That was Godzilla, yes. <laughs> sure, Honda. No, that's Godzilla. <laughs> anyway. About a minute to go. Otherwise, it is hot down here. Uh, it's been raining off and on. And we got a second dance. Oh, goodness. I'm hearing the, uh, the feedback in, uh, in in the other room. That sucker is loud. Troll time. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, chicken. Okay, you, 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 we've had enough of you. Thank you. Thank you, chicken. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I think the commercials are done. I'm not too sure. Even if they aren't, they pretty much are done. Let's go ahead and turn over to the let's go ahead and turn over to the console, shall we? All right. Okay. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. We still have a set for the master system. Yeah, that'd be a problem. 
should be that. And I gotta resize it. Of course, I forgot to do all that before stream. I was outside with the guy who was uh, cleaning our roof. Not on a roof, our uh, dryer vent, because for some reason we have a vertical dryer vent. And uh, I don't do well with the sun. I got sunburned just a tad. So, hey, as you, the main audience, I will troll you until kick. You're fine. You're absolutely welcome here. Absolutely welcome. All right, let's go ahead and get to the game. I'm going to unmute TV so that we can actually hear the wonderful music. This actually had a quite the soundtrack. Turn me down just a bit. That's 16, there we go. Okay, I think we're ready. We are ready. Let's grab the controller. And let's get started, shall we? Let's see, uh, well, we spent about 10 hours in the game thus far. We got four out of five party members. And, uh, yeah, we're up there a level, a little bit level. Did a small amount of grinding. Building up whatever you want to call it. So here we are. So what town are we in that I can't seem to re-enter? There we go. I'm in the town of Tor Tori Tatoria. Alright, so I think we found everything here in this particular town. We found all the hidden chests that were here. If I'm not mistaken. We raided a well a, a derelict castle. We did pretty good with that. All right, so. I don't think there's anything else for us to find. So let's go ahead and head outside, shall we? And let's uh, depart to our airship. Now, there's supposed to be a cave system northwest. There's your chocobos. We started there. We've already been through here. In fact, there's our hovercraft. We can't land on the desert. If I, desert, excuse me, if I'm mistaken. Yes, okay. There's where the airship belongs. Hmm. So we've been through all up here. We went to that town. Aha. The problem is, can we get there? We're going to have to get a flying chocobo to do that. Let's go ahead and do that then. Let's rather... Can we land there? We can. Alright. Everyone should be up to, up to speed. They are. Excellent. Now the baddies around here are kind of bad. And I mean bad, bad. We're just gonna run away. And drop money. Because I want to get a flying chocobo. Which is found up here. In that little patch of trees. Okay, so we have our choice of chocobos. We have the black chocobo over here that will fly. Regular yellow chocobo for all kinds of reasons. And of course the white chocobo up here. That restores my magic. And up here, if I'm not mistaken. No, nope, he's not there. Alright, so let's get a black chocobo. And let's fly to that cave. Now I love this music. Can't fly into the mountains. We can land here. Here we are. We're, we're in Cave Mang Magnus. Oh, I forgot one thing. What is this magnetic field? Metallic things will be too heavy to control. My claws seem okay. Do not worry, I will do it with my magic. Okay, so basically what's going on here is that uh, anyone wearing metal or have metal items like swords, well, they won't be able to do a whole heck of a lot. So that could be bad. Now the question is, how bad is it? We do have an exit spell. We do have a treasure chest. Found a cure too. Excellent. A 
And to be honest, I'm rather surprised. And I'm not going to mention why I'm surprised, because it will jinx it. Ah, well, there you go. Back from behind. At least, at least we're missing. Oh, that's not too bad. Yep. Yeah, I see a problem here. Now, Sid should be able to go. That's not be neat. A whole nine points. We're getting the hell out of there. Okay. Okay, my penance. And we're going to lose all the money that we've earned. I can see it now. Now, if they're... Gold pieces should be heavy as it is. We go around this away. That's an entrance. See what's in the chest? A heal. Excellent. And a battle. Now, honestly, Yang should be able... Let's uh, unequip Yang real quickly. Because he has Iron Ring. Hmm. Let's uh, find a nothing. There we go. He should be able to go now because all he has otherwise is leather. He still has a whopping 50 attack points, so that should do. As for Tella, what the hell does he have? He has an iron ring, but he also has silver. I don't think the silver is really going to do much. So once again... Now the next time to get into battle... Might be able to do something. Nope. He won't be able to do anything. Of course not. Yeah. I sense disaster. Lots of it. Surprised, of course. This is a good thing I built up in between the uh, streams. Y you guys can run anytime now. Thank you. As we continue, continue to drop rather heavy money. Okay, there is a chest there. It's also a pair of doors there. That is not a chest. That's a bunch of skeletons. Hmm. Yep. -er. Okay. Oh, we could have gone this way anyway. Aha! There was a chest here. Found an ether. Okay, speaking of which. Let's see. Cecil! You're not doing anything. Let's see. We got a cure one. A cure two. Let's use a cure two. Let's see, who needs it? Uh, you? What was that, Macy? Macy went... Ooh. I hear you, Macy. I... Of course. Oh, look at that! An ogre! See, Macy may need to... Oh, we're surprised. Of course we are. Ouch. There you go. Alright, so now we have a pair of doors. And an entrance. Let's see what the pair of doors has. Might be a save room. Nope, it's a treasure chest room. Alright. They're still running away. Not exactly a uh, fantastic strategy of sorts, but it'll keep me alive. Won't earn money, certainly I'm losing it as a matter of fact. Won't earn experience, but that's fine for right now. Oh, we made all our money back practically. Good. Okay, so we found that room. Let's go into this little entrance over here.
Aha. Now. That's what I thought. Okay, so we do have a save. We do have a save spot here, which we're going to actually entertain that notion and save down here. Now let's check my inventory of goodies for right now. In fact, let's uh, get them all together. There we go. I have a couple of cabins. I have a whole bunch of tents. Lots and lots of cures. Nine lives. One elixir. That does everything. A fair amount of ethers. One ether, two. Okay. And I see something that we can do. Okay, let's go back to Sid real fast. Whip. He's out of arrows, that's the problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some fire arrows. And let's resave. That would explain why his attack sucked. He ran he ran out of arrows. Just out of curiosity. Just there for looks. Works for me. Okay, there's our save room. As we head on down. Dropping money, cave bats. That's a new one. Aha. Three treasure chests. I wonder what, if one of them's bad. Found a life. Found a cure three. And a cure two. Okay. So the answer to that question is no. They're all good. I think the case of the bad treasure chests kind of uh, dealt with last stream. Mages. Okay. Can't go up that way. It's like you go through that. That's exactly what we will do. No chests. Okay. In we go. It doesn't tell us where we are. It don't matter. We're in battle. Wow, they're hitting with all the good good ones now. Excellent. Found a charm. Charm looks like something you equip Yang with. If I'm right. Yep. Okay. Oh, lovely. Let's see how bad these guys are. Well, they're missing. They're still missing. Vampire, I hate that. Ugh. I hate freaking vampire. I think we've got some healing to do, some curing to do, rather. Oh, Lord. All right, so that's the status that stays with them, or are they healed now? Looks like they're okay. Let me see if I'm right. Yep. No hurting. Okay, good. Not a big fan of that one. And there's some treasure chests. Let's see, how much money have I dropped? <laughs> eh, not too much. Okay. Another save spot. Excellent. We will take care of that right now. Okay, cool. Oh, 
Alrighty, so. Can't walk around that way. No, you have to go all the way around the stupid thing. Because, of course. On an Ether 2. That was well worth it. Strike first. No. Not striking first. I'm losing money, but I'm not striking first. I'm in the crystal room. We've made it. Music doesn't sound too darn happy, though. Oh, hello. Uh, you, you beat us to it. But that's a pretty looking crystal over there, so I'll just reach be from behind and grab I can't do that, can I? That'd be awesome. I can just get from here. Ha, it's mine! But alas, no. No nothing out of the ordinary. Everything seems to be pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and talk to the nice person. Hopefully it's a nice person. Notice the Dark Elf. You cannot go any further. You cannot take my crystal. It's not your crystal. You cannot use metallic weapons. You cannot defeat me. Don't worry. We'll do it. All right. Oh, good. Good shot. Me attack you. Oh, wow. Double magic. That, nope. Triple magic. Hitting, hitting us with all the elements. Well. Eh. Weak. We're already weak. We're already weak. Okay. Yang. Oh. We can't. My dear. What strong language you guys have? <laughs> As they all fall down. If I can use my sword! They're in danger, says Edward. As he slowly, and he falls. Stay in bed, you cannot move around. Where are you going? Don't worry, I just wanted to get to my harp. Ouch. I told you, do not overstrain yourself. Let me do this. I must save them. That's right, Edward. And there you go. Twin harp made a sound, synchronizing the tune played by Edward. Oh, this melody, Edward's harp. But what is that nasty music? Ugh. Wield your sword. Dark elf cannot control metallic weight while I am playing. Hey. Oh. It's Edward. All right, so let's see. We seem to be all healed. Well, grr, <laughs> you, you. Hmm. Oops, hitting us with all the barrels again. Aye. Not as strong as he once was. Okay, weaken me. Did a pretty good job of that, too. Only a 30, huh? Me change. Uh oh. 
Hey. Okay, let's see how Ice does against him. Does very well. Okay, cool. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. We hit him with Ice 3. Hmm. Okay, he needs an item badly. Late. Damn. Hmm. Got him. All right. Got five thousand gold for our efforts. Yes, two thousand experience. Well, everyone except Teller. Yang gained the level. Atella is not doing too well. Why did the music reach here? Give me that crystal. The everlasting life. No. Thank you, Edward. Acquired the crystal birth. Excellent. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, he swooned. Okay, so let's use some of our precious magic. And I don't have any. <laughs> Not for that. Yeah, we can use. Fine. Let's uh use one of our little lives here. And give us a whole 25 HP. Perfect. Now, see, he has 48 MP in him. So, we're going to use my magic. He's a cure, too. And let's do that again. All right, so now we can leave the crystal room. And I think we're gonna use one last magic spell on his part, and that would be exit. It takes him to the entrance. All right. And we get flown right back to where we started this whole mess. Excellent. All right, so. Okay, it restores our magic. And we're going to do just in case. Takes a whole 40 MP. Do it one more time. Come here. Stop running away from me. 
Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Get, get ourselves a regular old chocobo. And that should do. And back into town. I think everything is okay now. All right. Let's go up that way. Not supposed to be in the end. I didn't think so. As we slam doors. Alrighty. We'll grab the crystal, and now what? I don't love this part. Kid, move. Thank you. Hmm. Well, we have in our possession at least. Oh, let's we 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 re-equip. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's get his stuff back. He has three fire arrows left. He still has a ruby ring, so he's okay there. Hello? Let's put back on the iron ring. Maybe that helps out a bit. I don't think we unequipped anything on Cecil. We did not. And, uh, he has a charm, but let's put that iron ring back on his arms. Okay. So at least we have that. All right, so we're going to save here. And let's head to the castle. Head to the castle. There we go. Welcome to Victoria. And we've already been in here. You just walk right in front of me like that. What is it with you people? That is it. Oh, they surround me. Oh my goodness. The crystal of earth. You got it back. Great. And of course, looks like you got the crystal, Cecil. Hmm. Kane? Go outside and get get on your airship. I'll take you to where Rosa is. All right. So now we have to go back to our airship. Everyone should be up and ready. Yes. All right. Get out of my way. Out, out. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a short visit. Bye.
Hey, I'm in my airship. Now where? Aha. There's Kane. Where's the crystal of Earth? It's here. Where's Rosa? Follow my airship. And there we go. All right. That was quick. <laughs> Kane, where are you? Do not hurry, Master Gobez wants to thank you personally. Gobez. I'm glad that you kept your promise. Show yourself. Be a bit more patient. I want to receive the reward. I want you to receive the reward. Reward? I'm at the top of this tower of Rosa. Bring the crystal and I'll return you the girl. You'd better hurry up or else I can't guarantee her life. Now come. Mm. And of course there will be monsters. Why wouldn't there be monsters? All those slimes. Okay. I like the I like the slimes better actually. Now uh, there's the door. And there's the battle. Alright, strike first. Okay, you know what we will. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can keep the fifty gold piece. One. <laughs> Second floor. So what the hell kind of air ship do you have when it's just roaming with monsters? I mean, good grief. With a maze. Oh, well, there's a treasure chest. And I can just imagine the crew of this place. Scared out of their minds just to walk the uh, frick. Can't run. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Charmed. Oh, goody. Well, that's what the charm does. Ah. Ouch. He's charmed again. He set himself on fire, but that hurt that helps him. That should take care of it, I think, yes. A whole two hundred and forty five GP. But I did get four hundred and thirty experience. And I got a fire sword out of it. Wow. Not bad. Let's let's see what we got here. We give Cecil the sword because he usually carries those things. He has a legend sword, so I'm not sure why I would want to give that to him. Here's the fire sword. And that's why it's that much more powerful, of course. Oh. There you go. Okay, so let's use some magic. I'm gonna use a bunch of cure twos, I think. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Okay. Good enough. So that was that was quite the necessary evil, I'm afraid. I love those gremlins. <laughs> Look like they're bored out of their mind. Really? And we're attacked from behind. Because of course we are. Yep. And they're hitting pretty good there too. Yeah, well there goes Tella. Bye Tella. <laughs> Just leave them behind. I love that. Okay, back to the item board. Actually, no, he doesn't have life. You know, the one who has life is the one that's dead. Of course. 
So let's go ahead and use the item after all. Once again, bringing a whole 25 HP back into existence. Okay, let's use some magic now. Okay. Let's use some ethers while we're at it too. Give one to Cecil. We're gonna give one to Tella. That should be good as gold there. Did we make it to the exit? We did! Hooray! Just out of curiosity. This kind of, the architecture is kind of like the Winchester house. If you're not familiar with that one, uh, that's a house that they really didn't stop building. Oh, wow. It actually made it pretty far there. Oh, look at that. All the Pac Man ghosts now. And the different colors. Jellies and creams, as of course. And they're back. Just like that. Okay. I probably missed a bunch of stuff and I honestly don't care at this point. Only Winchester House, uh, Lady Winchester of the Winchester uh, Gun Company, if you will, uh, was afraid that she would be cursed for the rest of her life for all the people that died uh, as a result of uh, those uh, particular items. Okay, there is a door. There is a glowing chest. Will you stop attacking me? Oh, lovely. Got Marion and puppets. <laughs> I forgot about these. Save room? It is. Okay. We're going to take advantage of this save. Right here. Try again. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see. How are we? You know what? We're going to use one. Might as well. We got 21 of them, for Christ's sakes. So we're going to take a nap right here. <laughs> right here in this spire. So anyway, going back to Winchester House, uh, she just kept, had, kept getting the house built and built to stay away from the, uh, well, the people that would do her harm. I guess we can't get to that one. Or that one. Oops. Well, we've reached our destination, it looks like. Hello. Welcome to the tower, welcome to the tower of Zot. Because of course. Glad to see you. This is not creepy at all. We are the millions of the Valvale, Valvalis of the air. Okay, makes sense. I am Sandy, I am Cindy, and Mindy, and we're the Magus sisters. Sorry, but your quest will be over here. Take our Delta attack and farewell. Hey. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Ooh. Oh, lovely. A fire, too. This might be bad. This could be bad. I think the wall was already in use, though. Nope, the wall. Yeah, okay. rid of one of them.
Oh. That didn't help me at all. Hmm. The dreaded Delta attack one more time. Thank you. All right. Okay, there you go. There's the wall. And let's use a cure two on Cecil. Perfect. That fire sword seems to be doing an awful lot. Okay, there's the wall. Remedy. Oh, brings her back to life. Crap. Wonderful. I think we're about to lose Sid. Okay, awesome. Ouch. And it's too late. Yep. Nope, no die. Yeah, more delta attacks. Ooh. Wonderful. Okay. Takes care of Yang. Yep. That should take care of her. Nope, doesn't take care of her. This won't be good. Let two. Yep. Ouch. Okay. Oh, don't hit the one in the middle. Wow.
Jesus. Okay, I can live with that. I'm not gonna like this. Hmm. All right, so let's see what we can do. Lovely. Well, so much of that. Oh, perfect. Uh, can I take my item, please? Apparently not. Lit two. Yep, that's good. That's bad. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Can I take my item, please? No, of course not. Ouch. Okay. Oh, wonderful. That's exactly what I don't want. Oh, come on. Let me take... Let me get my heal. Let me get my heal. Nope. It's not going to work. Alright, yep, I'm done. Oh, that was fun. Ooh. That was not fun at all. We'll try it again. All right, so. Let's, let's go back to our tent. Let's contemplate as to what actually happened. We got our butts kicked. Okay. Fortunately, we get to do this all over again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the MAGA sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Same logic. Okay. Fire two is gonna hit. Yep. How could you miss that? All of a sudden, you're just missing stuff. Okay. Okay, and we're going to fight that. There's the wall spell. Okay, come on. There's the delta attack one more time. Let two.
All right. Okay, I'm gonna get attacked. Okay, another ice too. Ouch. And once again, we're missing. Okay. Come on, hit it. Why did I do that? Nice. Okay. Don't know who's gonna hit. Gonna hit me. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Of course. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So this is what the scissors look like, yep. And they keep remedying each other. Oh, that sucks. Die already, will ya? Oh, of course. Of course. Ah, lordy.
Okay. At least it hit me. that. Oh, wrong one. Oh, there you go. Still had a wallet. How can there be a Delta attack? to think about this pretty pretty well here. Nice. Still didn't do it. Ah, nice. Well, so much for that. Yes, okay. Somebody move it would be of course. And there goes Sid. Nope, not yet. So much of that. Thank you, gang. Jackass. Here too. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, that's good. Trying to cast exit. That's hilarious. Yeah, 
And there you go. 18,000 gold pieces, 6,000 experience. Except said he died. All right, that's all right. No way, Delta attack failed, no. Okay, now, question is, are we still? Yep, yeah, we still are. Okay, do some magic. Let's do a I like to float one. Of course. I'm not striking first. We're <laughs> still leaving Sid behind. Good God, come on. Okay, let's use a tent. Alright, so we made it past the sisters. And this is a good idea this is a good opportunity to uh, take a bit of a commercial break, if you will. So, having said that. Let's uh, mute the TV for just a second so we can get to the screen here. And that would be the screen here. The pause screen. Now the question was, who created Pac-Man? We'll find out after these two minutes worth of ads. Okay? Stand by. Alrighty, there it is. That was one hell of a battle. Wow. Yep. Realized that the key was getting rid of the middle sister because that she was the one who was remedying, and of course where the wall uh, was being used. So yeah. You see, Macy knocked over everything that I just put over there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> anyway, this is a great game. I'm really having a blast with it. I'm going to take this opportunity to hydrate, so I shall return uh, when the minute timer has up. Back in a sec. Alrighty, I did get a little sunburned. Hmm. Now with the uh, gentleman who's uh, fixing our dryer, it's nice enough to clean our uh, dryer vent. And like I said before at the top of the show, we have a, um, a vertical one because you know why not? His fighting gravity is great, and uh, yeah, I burn so easily. It was only I was out there for about maybe a good 20, 25 minutes, and. Well, that's on me. So, anyway, the question was, and this little doohickey, who the heck created Pac-Man? And the answer to that was Toru Iwatani, who, uh, like I said, he was a Namco programmer, staffer, and thank you. Thank you very much. But uh, he created the wonderful icon, and he still played it to this day. 44 years ago, Pac-Man was created by Namco. Originally called Puck-Man. But uh, if you saw the way the P looks like in Pac-Man, you just draw a line uh, through it, and it kind of said something else. So, there you go. But anyway, that's that. Toru Iwatani created Pac-Man all those years ago. Let's go back to the console, shall we? As we just got the heck 
beat up out of our team here. There it is. Okay. My brain is just a tad tired right now. So let's go ahead and turn back on Doohickey here. All right. Now we just saved, uh, rather we just, um, we didn't save yet. We're going to do that now. Oh, he's still swooned, but of course. Uh, and I saved because I did. All right, cool. All right, uh, let's see. He does have life. And she's alive too. Okay, that did everything we needed. You just have a lot of Tellus magic though, so let's go back to the item list. Let's get one of our ethers. Close enough. For all intents and purposes, what we've used. Now we will save again. Okay. Perfect. Alrighty. Well. We shall go through this door. We did go through that door. We're on the sixth floor. Oh, look at this. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, I only see two of you. Where, where's Rosa? I thank you, Golbez. Where's Rosa? The crystal first. You haven't heard Rosa, have you? Of course not. Now give me the crystal. This is it. Handed over the crystal of the earth. You idiot, Cecil. Give back Rosa. Rosa? What are you talking about? What? You cheated us, foul traitor. I have no business with you, old man. But I do. Whoa. This is for Anna. Oh. My Golbez is huge. Throws him a virus. I have no control of this. Yes, thank you. Throws him a fire three. My ears don't like that one. <laughs> no one can ever defeat me. Okay, tell us now throwing a lit three. Throwing it, he should have run out of magic points by now. Jesus. Well, he's throwing him all the elements, and now he's Meteo. No, don't! It will destroy you! I'm spending my life to defeat you. Now comes Meteo. Oh! Oh! 9,999. No way! Bye, Golbez. Your name's stupid anyway. Poor, trans <laughs> poor translation is showing now. This is the official translation, Vin. That's what I can tell you. You use the media. Grr. Tell her. Well, so much for telling. But I have the crystal. Now come, Kane. I guess that media broke my control over him. So be it. You know, you no longer serve my purpose. I'll sell this score later, Cecil. Never. Da -da 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 -da. Ha. Oh. Ouch. Galvez? Question marks. Uh, why not finish me off? You. Cecil says, huh? Who are you? I shall see you again. Hmm. Cecil, you okay? Yeah, Gomez must have been weakened by Medio. But tell her. I failed. Don't speak. I brought this upon myself. Because I lost myself in hatred. Avenge my daughter for me, please. Tell her. Yep. 
Open your eyes, you old nag. Tell her. Rest in peace with your daughter. And just like that. Tell her. We will avenge Anna and you. Kane. Kane. Ah, look at that. No, that's all right. I don't, uh, you can go somewhere else and do that. Thank you. All right. Okay, back to the game. Lisa, what have I done? Not your fault. You've been hypnotized. But I retain consciousness. I wanted Rosa to... Where is Rosa? We don't have time. It's above. There she is. Cecil! Oh! Wow, really? It's just like Shred Up Saw. <laughs> I knew you would come. Oh, ain't that cute? Your absence taught me I see so. Oh boy, getting cozy. All right. Goba's control was broken. I really was under control, but I also wanted to keep you close to me, Rosa. Kane. Let us fight together, Kane. I am sorry, forgive me, Rosa Cecil. Come on, we must really hurry. It's, it's too dangerous here. Let's go, Kane. Cecil, we need your powers as a dragoon. Cecil, Rosa. You just keep saying their names over and over again. And yay, we got Kane! White Wizard Rosa and Dragoon Kane joined. And of course, take one step. <laughs> Seems like Master Gobaz has underestimated your powers. Is. Valvalis of the air. One of Gobel's four fiends of elements. Kane, you betrayed us. I did not betray, but came to my senses. I should have gotten rid of you, but now the old man with the media is gone. Think you're the only one who can fight in the air? Of course. Must stop her spin. Jump! Of course. Must stop her spin. Jump! Throws a weak on Kane. Throws a ray. Are you kidding me? The game just literally stopped. It just literally stopped. There it goes. Okay, good. Must stop or spin. No! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. I know. It's all right. It's okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Cure two. Did everyone? Must stop or spin. Kane, jump. 
Oh. Whoops. Yes. Ooh. Really dust. Okay. Jump. Oh, got Yang with weak. Got hit with Ray. Somehow he missed. Must stop or spin. Kane, jump. <sighs> jump, Kane. Jeez. And you missed. Well, you got her to stop anyway. We know, we know, game. Okay. Ah. She's been petrified, but she can still. Hmm. Okay, Kane is still sitting there with six HP. <laughs> Seven eighty, wow. Must stop her spin. Kane, jump. Ah. Hmm. Ouch. Oh, Cecil's gone. You've got to be kidding me. Jesus. Okay, there's a life at me, which will give me barely anything. And there goes Sid. Oh! Hey, come on, your turn. Come on, your turn there, King. So much of that. Two, huh? Nope, so much of that. Die already! Jesus! Yep, we perish because that, that turned to stone and that's it. Well. Mm mm mm. Try that again. Okay. That could have gone better. But it didn't.
minutes and we get to go through this whole ordeal yet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Tella gets... It's rather frisky there. Shoving Cecil out of the way. Throws a virus at him. Throws like all kinds of shit at him. Fire and ice and all that kind of nice stuff. No one, and then he throws a Meteo. Lift three. Now, normally he'd run out of magic right about now. But nope. Throws a frickin' Meteo at him. Which will kill him. But everyone's like, no, I'll destroy you. You stupid old man. And there you go. Now, you would think he'd be destroyed because you see this. I mean, he's only collapsed upon himself. But no. Of course, Kane is no longer under his control, but he runs away with the crystal. Okay, so we go through all that. We still got to go get Rosa. Of course, we go tend to Tella because he's now dying. All right. And now T Tella has now bit the bullet. And we go through the dialogue. We may just see this again. All right. All right. They rejoin me. Okay. So Kane wakes up. He hasn't been killed. Great. He remembers everything. Great. Gotta go get Rosa. Great. And there you go. They have a nice little reunion. Oh. Okay. Got to figure out how to stop them. Okay, that's great. Bad we can't like cast an exit. Yay! Everyone joins in. I don't take another step. Okay. So everyone's okay. I wonder, can I actually do that? Nope, won't let me. Of course not. That'd be too effing easy. Okay, so there's Kane. And he has that jump. Let's see what Rosa actually has as far as magic. She's a white wizard. Also has an exit. <clears throat> yep. All right. If we were a second late, Rosa would have been crushed. 
That's right. All right, so. Let's see. Dr. <laughs> we know game. Yep, indeed we do. Well, we'll get it. We may have to see it again, so let's see what happens here. We've got about 28 minutes left of stream here. So let's see. Yeah, take that one step. Get the introductions over with. You got to do something about being petrified. Okay, so first thing Kane has to do is jump. Like that. And there she goes spinning. Uses a weak right immediately on Kane. Uses a ray on him. Great. So I'm gonna do a white. Let's see. I'm gonna do a heal. You can't do it on Kane because he's not on the freaking screen. Because of course. Alright. Now we can do it. Hmm. Okay, let's see if that works. It did. He has to jump. And we're going to slowly cure everyone as best as we can. Okay, there he goes. Of course, Kane was off the board when that happened. He's back to, she's back to spinning. You gotta wait for it. Of course. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Meantime, stop taking hits there. Ooh. Okay, so he he is healed. Everyone's missing. Ouch. He's going to jump, yep. So he's going to miss out on that bit there, because of course. Ouch. As long as he keeps jumping, of course he's out of the way. Okay, Kane's going to jump now. He throws a week over at Sid. Throws a ray at Sid too. Okay. Nope, no. Let's see. Wrong one. Okay, and we're gonna heal. Sid. All right. And let her revert back to herself, yep. Okay. He's just taking hits for everyone. Hmm. 
All right, cure two back to everyone. Of course, Kane's not going to get any of it because, well, he's up in the air somewhere. Okay, that did it. Bye, Kane. We'll just leave you hang up there in the ceiling. All right. <laughs> now that's, does Kane receive any of this? Who knows? Caesar gained a level at least. Sid gained a level at least. Maybe, maybe not. You know, the last and mighty of us four is still left. Perish with this tower. Okay. It's collapsing. Watch out. Woo. Hold on to me. Exit. There we go. Why couldn't you do that before the damn fight? Oh, there you go. Where is it? It's your room in Baron. It's safe since the fake king is gone. Cecil, I have something to tell you. Of course, it gets comfortable. What's that? It's about the crystals. The crystal of Earth from Tutoria was taken away. This means Golbez has gathered all the crystals. No, there are other crystals, but I only thought there were four. The rumor is true. Right, the dark crystals. What a great movie that was, wasn't it? The crystals of this world are those of light and open side, so to speak. Then there are the hidden crystals. They are the dark crystals. Right. Therefore, Gobez has only gathered half of all the crystals. But the rumors do not say the whereabouts of the dark crystals. Gobez knows. We must hurry then. Where is it, Kane? Literally. The hidden side of the earth. The underground. Underground? How? Dig a hole? Anyway, he said, when all the crystals of light and darkness are gathered, the way to the moon opens. Way to the moon. I guess so. And there is this clue to the secret that we said you should have it. Now receive the magma key. Use this key at a certain place to open the way to the underground. Certain place? Where? I don't know. Well, that's going to do us a lot of good now, isn't it? To think about... What's the thing about? We have the Enterprise to fly around. The world is in no time. But it was left at the Tower of Zot. Oh, didn't I tell you it's the, it's the latest? It's back in Baron by my re remote control. Good. Said so we, re we really can't count on you. You think so? Nah. So let's sleep in the morning to search for the entrance to the underground. Absolutely. Meantime, we'll all sleep in Cecil's bed. But why didn't Gobez just finish me off then? Diesel? Ah, it's nothing. Let's take a rest. And we're all sleeping in Cecil's bed, so to speak. Okay. Now, did we ever make it to the rest of this castle? This has been a long time since we've been in this stupid place. See, everyone's sleeping there. Can we just walk right up to them? Yes, we can. Captain, I didn't recognize you. Yeah, well. Oh, you're alive. Yes, I am. I'm not talking to you three. Yeah, there was nowhere to go there. It's Paladin to you now. Paladin. It looks like I can finally go places here. Because before we, you know, got into a big old fight, we did get those chests. And there's the... Nice. Sorry, it was size. You jackass. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so we've been into the mage's rooms. I believe this is where the king was. Can we go through. We will post guard here. Good for you. Oh, yes. And you can't, they are permanently in stone. You can't do a darn thing to them. Never again. We will, <laughs> we will sure guard here, will you now? All right, cool. All right. Do not question old game logic. No, I guess not. It serves this purpose. We, the Dragoons, will defend the castle. I'm ashamed. You should be. Please avenge the king. Please take, please, whoa, 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 whoa. Please take the throne. Hmm. 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 It gives me an idea. First, I have to leave the castle so I can save before I do something horrendously awkwardly stupid. Alright, so let's save. Oh, that's right, I gotta pull the door. Oh, you guys closed the doors after me. That's that's real grand of you. How oh, tidy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hmm. Walk past them. See, I wish I could take the throne. That'd be awesome. That'd be the game over. There were a couple of games that actually did that. But alas, this was not one of them. Okay, so we got the airship back. We went through all this. Did we go through all that, though? I don't believe we did. Because we couldn't. Exactly. Okay, so which one of these is monsters? Ether 1, we're going to get our stuff back. Cure 2, we did use a few of those. Did use a life or two. Okay. So we got some of our provisions back. Good. We head down this door. Ghost! Real! Ah, yes. I'm working hard, sir. <laughs> Boss and you, Cecil. Go into this tower here. Ah, more stuff. Found a tent. Good, we can use one of those, definitely. Found a cure. And found a heal. Now, thing is. There's a stair there. And it seems like the pots are actually empty for once. Found a cure too. Found a life. Proceeding upstairs. Some of these are empty, it seems. Found an ether. Found another ether. Found a tent. Another tent. So we pretty much have racked up all of our goodies again. Okay. question how do you get to that one chest with the stair right in front of it well let's see found another elixir as we continue going through our own castle finding the secret stash of goodies Cecil, your majesty? 
Ah, the alter the alternate throne room, of course. Makes sense. Go to the land of the summoned monsters and return here. I shall be of help. Go to the land of summoned monsters and return here. Okay. Hmm. The land of the summoned monsters. That still doesn't answer my question. How do you get that stupid chest? Oh, I know how. Duh. That's how you do it. Okay. All right, cool. It looks like we got everything now. Man, so Sony went, uh, really went out with... I can't read today. Holy cow. Man, Sony really went all out with Final Fantasy VII to not have a broken translation. Well, y you have to understand, with Final Fantasy VII, they spent a fortune on advertising and the game. And, you know, this was a more or less an experimentation with them. And it paid. It, pay it paid off tr uh, tremendously. And while I will say it's not the best of the Final Fantasies, I think it's one of the most important of the Final Fantasies uh, because it literally brought attention to everyone what a role-playing game is. And as many of the role-playing games, like, when, like the one we're playing now, that went out there and they made a few bucks, they were real popular in Japan, but not so much here. Hence why we don't have all the Final Fantasies released here, at least back in the day. But, can't stress enough, Final Fantasy VII was the game that literally opened everyone's eyes and said, you know what, you can actually have a good story-driven game. So, there's that. But yeah, Squaresoft, I mean, they, they took a gamble with that one, and it paid off tremendously. And Sony, uh, thanks to, again, you saw commercials, you saw movie trailers, you heard it on the radio, you saw it in magazine ads. They even took out newspaper ads to promote this game. To the Summon Monsters. Whatever the hell that is. Well, I got an airship. I got ten minutes left. Hey, okay, there's that. There's that. Uh -huh. Might do some revisiting eating. Can't land in the desert. We were just there. We've already uh, ransacked that particular castle. Can't get into here, though. We need a chocobo for this. Hmm. Because you can't get that. You can't land in the opening of the cave. You can't land in the water. And you can't position your shadow to be on that little strip of land there. Hmm. That's not enough land for that there. Let's put this here ship there. No, nope, no chocolates. All right, cool. So we were there. Nothing exciting there. Hmm. I think we've already went through this, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, we're doing a lot of revisiting. Yep, my ordeals, we did do that. We, we went to that town. We went to this town as well. We were hoping there would be a Chocobo thing up here, but nope, there isn't one. Hmm. Okay, so... We've literally circled the Earth. We went there. We've got all that. Now we gotta go to the land of the summoned monsters. Whatever the hell that is. Well. Hmm. Couldn't land here either. Ah, oh, wait a minute.
and Silvera. Well, these aren't summoned monsters per se. We mine silver ores, toads refines and small folks processes. Blah blah blah. Okay. Get out of my way. Can't get into that well. You go into the houses and there's really nothing inside per se. We've already emptied that. Hmm. Hmm. We got a big old in Alex. Of course you would. Of course you would. Get out of the way, Jesus. Five hundred, huh? Hmm. Did you see my daughter? No, I don't know who your daughter is. I'm the cutest girl in this town. Good for you. Okay, nope. Summon monsters, huh? And there's nothing in here either. I think we did everything here. Now, are you the summon monsters? I have an idea. It's a stupid idea, but I have an idea. I like the airship where you can actually see a lot of the globe versus the flying chocobo where you can't see much at all. Hmm. Oh, misread that one. Okay. Looking for that area where all those chocobos were. I believe we found it. Okay. I can't land anywhere near it because... There's not enough land to do so. Maybe. Nope. I gotta land near town. There's only one place there you can do that. Right here. Alright. Everyone should be up, up in shape. They are. Okay. Of course. We're running away. And we're going to continue. We're going to go back to the Flying Chocobo. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. Really? Get over here. <sighs> you. Yeah. <laughs> Found him. Okay. Okay, so now we gotta find that one island. Looks like a big old cat's head. Without hitting a mountain. Or mountains. Well, I found the large ocean. Okay. And that's where the spire is. There's a castle. Can't land there, though. Interesting. Okay. We're almost there. We got four minutes left. And change. And that's where we start from, practically. Hmm. Gotta be here somewhere. There it is. Land right. 
something right here? See, that's the problem. The answer to that is no. Can't land in the water, and you can't get enough of that. To get there. I gotta get a regular old plain Jane chocobo. Okay. And I get into a fight. Into a bad one. Okay. So the answer to that is no. Well. I'm gonna take us right back home. See how, how do we, how do we get there? And that's how you do it. Okay. Let's get, let's get back to our, okay. There we go, finally. Now, like I said, if I get a, one of these chocobos there, should be able to do this. I made a lot of money, that's for sure. 56,583 gold pieces. Hmm. Are they still in the room? Get out of the way. Yep, they're still there. Okay. Oh, no, our crystal. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Sorry about your crystal. It's not my fault. There are more than four crystals. Yeah, we know. Oh. And then get it back. Oh, yes, we will get it back. Never fear. Okay. So we're bad. We made a little bit of an oopsie. We're going back. We're probably going to do it on the next stream because we're almost out of time right now. Alrighty. So let's go outside. We'll save the game. We'll do that right here. Okay. Well, we gained Kane. We got Rosa back. We lost Tella. But we did pretty good. We did pretty good, I have to say. Lost a couple times. I think we did all right. Okay. Having said that, let's go ahead and proceed to shut down, shall we? All righty. Oh, there we go. I was just waiting for that. Excellent. All right, so let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to my happy face. What? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, that was from Alligator, by the way. Absolutely perfect. All right. Where's my stupid face? There it is. Okay. Well, I appreciate you stopping on by. Hope you had a good time. Uh, still haven't figured out what we're doing with Shining Force as of yet because I can't get the game to work. So uh, we will continue to do so. I got a couple of days I can work with. And I'm going to be off on the 4th of July, but I'm going to be doing uh, a stream here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a two-hour stream or maybe a bit longer. Hey, waves. Are you waving to me, uh, then? Is that what you're doing? And uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a longer than usual stream on uh, July 4th, because I won't be working. I get the day off. If you like what you saw, wouldn't mind giving me a follow. I greatly would appreciate it. You can also check out my Instagram page of all the crap that I've been collecting video game-wise over the last 48 years of gaming. Uh, there's a YouTube page of the backup streams that are no longer found here on Twitch. 
there's an Insta uh, that I've already mentioned Instagram. There's Discord and there's also Twitter. That tells you when I'm doing something stupid, like, you know, this. And uh, that's about it. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Vin. Appreciate it. All right, we will see you Thursday night, 7 p.m. And, oh, by the way, don't forget, you can check out Billy Jackson's art that you see here on the screen at twitter.com forward slash Billy Graphics. Some jackass did the music. Let's see, who can we raid? Who can we raid? Let's see, is he streaming tonight, first of all? That's the thing. He is. What's he playing? He's playing the Mortuary Assistant. Okay, well, that sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and read, read Dixie Chris. Uh, it's a bit of a gremlin uh, chat. A bit of all the salty side as far as language is concerned, and it's just fine by me. So we'll go ahead and hit start. And uh, we will see you next time. Here on my uh, Twitch channel here. I'm Superpack Junior. Have yourself a great night. Bye.